Hey, my name is Becca, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a course on the back end of Show It or WordPress, and then I'm going to tell you why I would not suggest it. If you're new here, I'm a Show It in Squarespace website in a day designer, which basically just means that I love to help entrepreneurs get their website out and up and running into the universe so that they can start gaining clients and start to get traction on their SEO as well. So first of all, why did I create my course on WordPress and not show it? If you are on show it, you know that you get a WordPress blog and show it at the time did not allow for password protected pages. And so if it's a course that someone's paying for, I of course didn't want anyone to be able to find it. And so I wanted the password protection capabilities. So I went on to WordPress. I do have some experience, as you can see, designing on WordPress. So if you are on show it, you'll notice you don't have these under your pages. Um, but initially my website was actually a WordPress website. So, um, that's just a little bit of background. Now let's go into the back end of WordPress and I'll kind of take you through how I went about creating this. First of all, it's just a matter of adding a new page and then titling it, whatever you want. I don't necessarily want this to be searchable. So I was not really going into making, you know, you can see Yoast SEO here, um, SEO analysis needs improvement. That's good. I didn't want it to be found. Um, so the big thing here is just making sure that it's password protected. So if you go over to status and visibility, you can make the visibility password protected. And then just creating the course. So I have a little bit of an intro here and then the video, which is on YouTube, but I made sure to hide the YouTube video. Um, so again, same thing. I um, have a private private link there and then writing out my content for that video. And then you just go in and you click plus, you find a button, you can style it by going over here to change the color to one of your brand colors. Um, you can center it right there, adding the text that says go to lesson one. And this is how you're going to create that process of people going through uh, your course. And right, right now you might, you probably won't have that next page. So you will need to go back and link this. Um, and then you can, you wouldn't have update, but you would have publish it. Um, so now let's go back and look at the next one. So keyword research, um, you can put your video here by embedding it and you can just always just click that little plus or you come up here to this plus and then type in video and you can add in Vimeo or um, YouTube link. And then same thing, adding in my content. And then next lesson and previous lesson. So this is going to be kind of the model of each of your pages. And where it says previous lesson, I'm going to go back and get that link to the first page I created. So that was the page title at the time. And then this one, I don't have it yet, but when I create, you know, module two, then I'll link this here. Um, and so then you can just come up to page and you can change that URL slug to whatever you want. I just have lesson one. And the way I did it is um, I had it nestled under my Squarespace course. So if you look down here, RebeccaRecreative.com backslash Squarespace dash SEO dash course backslash lesson dash, dash one. So the way that you nestle that, if you come down here, you can kind of see what I did. So if you're on the page, you can come down to page attribution and then the parent page would be your SEO course or whatever it is. And then it'll go under. And then just add the order. So if this is module two, you might want it to be, you know, number two or number three, depending on what other pages you have. So you can see here that all of these pages are password protected. Um, if we go to the final module of the course, and I actually have these videos. Um, I didn't want them in YouTube because I didn't want them to be found at all. So I have this in a Google Drive. So that's another way of doing it. Just have a button and upload it to Google Drive if you prefer. Um, the content and then I have this little checklist you could always like upload a PDF if you wanted um, and then previous lesson go home and here's a button for like a Facebook group so it's really just a matter of creating buttons that have a forward and a back and um, then of course having your video if that's a part of your course okay so that's more or less a quick little run through but now why would I not suggest doing this multiple different reasons there are definitely advantages 
to having all of this done on a course platform like Kajabi or Teachable, Teachery, Podia. Um, and that being one, you can track the progress. And I, at first, when I was starting off, I was looking to save money and this was a great way of doing it. Although this was quite a bit of work um, upfront, it saved me money because I had no monthly fee I had to pay. But I have seen the value in it being able to track people's progress, um, be able to send them emails if they're not, you know, completing a module, things like that. And that's just not really something you can do. Um, then the, again, so many different advantages to doing it in a course platform. Another one being it's just easier. Um, it looks prettier, it's more streamlined. People know most people that take a course have done multiple courses. And so they kind of know how that back end looks and this just looks different. And so my goal with a course is to get people to go through the course because I want them to see the benefit and like the wins that they can have. And they're if they don't finish the course or they don't go even halfway through it, they're not going to have those wins or implementation, in this case, implementing SEO on the website. So I felt like there was more of a success rate um, by creating it on a course. So I chose Podia. I'm not going to really go into like why, um, but really quick, it's a user, so user-friendly, so, so user-friendly. Um, two, it was one of the cheaper platforms um, compared to some of the other ones that I looked at. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So if you want to look into it, I will link below. Um, I do have an affiliate link, if I'm being honest, but I really did my research and this is what I found to be the best platform, at least for me and for what I needed. So this is the back end of now Podia. And my same Squarespace SEO course, it looks a little bit different um, just because it's improved since when I created this a couple of years ago, but um, it's so easy, you guys. Like this is just such a user-friendly platform. Um, you can create new sections, so modules and uh, title it, whatever you want. And then you can have the lesson. You just upload the video that you recorded on your computer. And then a little bit of text. You can also have text on that lesson. Um, so depending on how you want to do it, it's all up to you. I just have a little bit of text and I just say like hit the right arrow to go to the corresponding um, like information. And then, you know, adding bonus videos, whatever you want. Like it's just so streamlined and I love that about it. Um, so that is all in there. And then some other things that uh, like Podia allows you to do that I really like is... Um, you can add like communities, you can email your people, which I think is really beneficial. Um, and I've done that a couple of times, just like if I wanted to get reviews after I had a certain amount of people, I could just shoot them all an email. Um, and also it's, it's really helpful to have some type of consumption sequence. Uh, so that just means as you know, they go through the course, as they go through module one, module two, what kind of content are you providing them to encourage them to then go on to module three. So I have linked um, by using a Zap Zapier, I've linked my, like when somebody purchases my Podia course, the Zapier, whatever, tells them um, on Flowdesk, which is my email marketing platform, to go into this uh, series, I guess, of a workflow. And they, I do have my emails through Flowdesk, um, just because that's how it was done prior. But you could do that through Podia as well. Up here, you see emails, you can add coupons. This has been awesome. Whenever I have, um, a type of sale or whatever. It's been great to have that. Um, and then if you want to have like affiliates, which is if you're doing a big launch, I think it's really beneficial. I think this costs a little bit more, but there's just a lot to Podia. The customer support down here is phenomenal. This is one of the reasons that I am such a big advocate of Show It as a website platform because their customer support is so good. So if I am creating a website in a day and hand off that website to somebody, I will know that they're being taken care of and they can get their questions answered. Podia, same thing. They've answered all my questions. Um, so I've really appreciated that. Again, if you are interested in giving Podia a try, I will link below. Um, the little place that you can go and check it out. And if you guys have any questions or if you want to learn more about my Squarespace SEO course or my Squarespace with confidence course, I will link those below as well. I hope you guys found this video helpful.